everybody and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be taking a look at the IN24 RDA this is by vape puff and um, yeah it's the first inner airflow control system so I'm really excited to show you it is different is it innovative to me it is it, it really is will it work we'll see so let's go okay, ahead so we have another RDA for review and this is actually from vape puff the IN or N24 RDA. This is the first inner airflow control system and I'll tell you what that's about. So yeah, um, it's new. This is actually a closed one. I do have an open one, meaning hint, hint, watch to the end and you'll find out about that one. Um, <clears throat> this is, sorry, I'm getting sick so my voice is like going. Um, it's saying with the IN or N24, you can adjust the airflow from the inside. Yeah, you heard that right, from the inside. The airflow speed and pressure will be different when you do the adjustment. No matter if you are mouth to lung or direct lung vapor, you'll find your most comfortable airflow restriction and get the best flavor experience in on the IN24 RDA. So yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you. Um, like, like it says, it is very different. This is the first one, so you won't be seeing anything else like it. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the package. <clears throat> Inside you do have your warranty card. And that's got all your warranty information on it. And then in addition to that, you do get some extras. You've got your squonk pin, some O-rings, some extra screws, and your tiny screwdriver. And then here you've actually got, this is a 510 drip tip adapter. And it comes with a 510 drip tip as well. You can use any 510 drip tip, but this one actually comes already with this one. So all you would do is just put your 510 in here. It's got really, really good O-rings if you didn't notice. And then here is the RDA. <clears throat> just put this aside. Okay, this is a 24 millimeter diameter RDA. I'll just zoom in just a little bit for you. And this one is designed by Vape Puff. It's got your serial number and it's got um, an adjustable 510 pin. And if you see, it is protruding enough to be on a hybrid if you so choose. And then it's got the um, logo for Vape Puff. On the other side, it is plain. It does have this ridge here. It does have an 810 um, drip tip. It does. It is compatible with any other 810 drip tips. It does have the O-rings on the outside, so you can use the aftermarket 810s. So that is awesome. <clears throat> this right here does nothing really. It's just for aesthetic purposes. This is actually your airflow. Do you see that? It goes, it's a hole that goes all the way through. Either way you put it, you can see my hand on the other side. So yeah, so that's that. Again, it is 24 millimeters in diameter and it is 37 millimeters tall. And we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, so here we are. I've actually got it on my Big Mike's box mod, my DNA 250. And this is actually a two part. You've got the bottom and then you've got the top. This is actually the top. It is not dome shaped. It's just a regular top cap. So we'll put that aside. And then this is your deck. Look at that deck. It's actually for single coil only. And this on the bottom is actually your airflow and you can close it or open it. And to close it and open it, you just turn these little dials and you see it's closing. And you can turn this one as well. And it will close that side also. And that way you can adjust it. There we go. So now it's um, closed off. I am gonna open it up because I do like open airflow and we'll close it down when I'm actually taking it on top to vape on it. But yeah, so that's the airflow right there. This is your deck right here. Um, it's actually, it looks pretty deep, but it actually only goes up to this part because if you go over it, it will go in the airflow and then come out the holes. But it is a single coil setup, as I mentioned. So you would actually just put one leg of the coil there, one leg of the coil there, and it would be right over the airflow. So we're gonna do that today. For today's coils, I'm gonna be using my favorite coils from coil clout my fuse claptons we are going to have to undo a leg <clears throat> so that it'll fit right so yeah i actually have them made in the, like i said these are my favorite and uh, all the information is down below in the description what i'm going to do is actually unwrap the leg because it's going to have one going one way and one going the other so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and take this right here 
and I am going to get my pliers when I find out where I put them. There they are. And I'm just going to wrap this around one more time. Actually, I don't even need my pliers. There we go. All right, so I just did it with my finger. I just put another wrap on it. I just turned the leg this way instead of the other way so that I can put it on. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let me get my screwdriver out. My teeny weeny little screwdriver. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am just not feeling good today. I do apologize. Okay, so I've already loosened up the um, flatheads for you. So if you notice in here, it's already open and in there it's already open. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in there. And I'm gonna place them just like this. Oh, sorry, duh. Put it like that and like that. Oops. If I can get this right, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and put that in there. Let me get my handy dandy screwdriver ready right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one on this side and one on this side. So there we go here. Oops. I like it when I <clears throat> have my tools to place it in, but of course I was trying to like be really, really cool about it. So yeah. So we're gonna put one on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that one in to help get the other one. So I'll put that one in first. I'm trying to look through the lens to make sure I'm in. There you go. Screw that one down first. Well, if I can grip it. There we go. Okay, we got that leg in. Okay, so I figured out what the problem was. The problem was is that the coils that I have are actually wrapped where they're wrapped over the jig rather than under. So I did go ahead and unwrap this one and then rewrapped it the other way. So it'll literally go in place that easy. See, it's not really supposed to be that hard. It is an easy RDA, but if your coils are not wrapped the right way, it's gonna make it more difficult. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see, they slide right under when they're facing the right way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this one down. There we go, and then see, it's in. And then tighten this one down, and again, it's in. So yeah, um, if you have a coil facing the wrong way, I suggest going ahead and <laughs> unwrapping it and then rewrapping it facing the other way. So I do apologize for that, but that's the way that we have it now. Now I do wanna go ahead and lower it down some because the coil is very, very high. Let's go ahead and just pull it down some and I'm just gonna make sure it's centered. Now your cotton is gonna go on either side. So you're gonna have your cotton, part of it on this side, part of it on that side. So we've got it sitting nice and even right there. I'm just gonna straighten it up just a little bit more for my liking. So there we go. Bring it down just a little bit more, closer to the airflow. And there we go. All right, so she's in. So let's go ahead and clip the leads. And that should be, lift that up a little bit. And clip it in here. And lift that one up a little bit. And clip it in there. Okay, so those are clipped. And now we can go ahead and start firing the coil. Again, I went ahead and took one of the, the fuse clappings that I had. If you notice, I'm gonna explain what exactly I had to do. Okay, if you look at the coil here, you see how the leg is actually over. I actually had to unwrap it and put it under. You see? So if you've got it the wrong way, or you're having a tough time, that's exactly what the problem is, because if you notice, once they're set right, they fit right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulsing this. Let me turn this down. And let's go ahead and start pulsing this coil. So this is coming out to a 0.3, by the way. There we go, almost there. And just pinch and pulse. Pinch and pulse. What I'm going to do is make sure that it is screwed down tight. 
because you always want to make sure that that's the case. It's already turning blue, so that's good. Continue to pulse and pinch. There you go. See? Pulse and pinch. Awesome, awesome coils. There you go. Get all those hot spots out. And there we are. Another beautiful blue coil from Coil Plow. And no matter if I had to rewrap it myself or not, it's still gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get the cotton. And I'll show so you as usual. Grow. I do have my Kendo Vape Cotton Gold Edition. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a piece. Again, this is a single coil. So I only need enough for one coil. So there we go. Put this away. And then I'm just going to go ahead and twist it up. And slide it through. There we go. Get my handy dandy tweezers to help me get that out. And then you want it tight, but not too tight. You just want it snug. So I do that. And then of course I am going to cut them and then fluff them. So I'm just gonna cut it right about here and right about here. Cause this is kind of a deep juice well. So then of course I'm going to fluff cause I love fluffing. It just, to me, the, the juice actually travels up the cotton a little bit better and faster when it's all fluffed out. There we go. Take off that excess and then just drop it in the juice well. Now again, I do have my airflow all the way open. That's it, that's it, you got it in there, yeah. Yeah, so we've got it all whipped up, ready to go. And for the juice that I'm going to use today is going to be this buttercream blueberry cake sugar glazed from Glass. And it's super, super yummy. I have to tell you, it is so freaking yummy. It's not even funny. So let me go ahead and just start lubing that up. Because I like to make sure that the cotton does get wet from the inside of the coil. And out, turn that up a little bit. There you go. So I'm gonna grab it faster because it is a bottom airflow right under the coil. And that, like I said, the juice well is really, really big, so you can go ahead and like literally plop it down. Once you have the cap, the cap off, you can literally plop it. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead, put the top on. Take it up and uh, let's go ahead and vape on it. So, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so here we are back on top and we've got the IN24 RDA right here. Let's go ahead and have a vape. Oh my God, I know what this tastes like. And this is really good. I The flavor is really, really good. It's surprising, it's good. It tastes good. You get great cloud production. I've actually only got this at 61 watts and I'm getting really good clouds. Very, very good flavor. Very, very good clouds. <clears throat> the only thing is, is that you saw the issue down below. If you have your coils that are wrapped over, you're gonna have an issue trying to put them in like I did at, be at the beginning. And since I don't use jump cuts and all that, other than just, you know, hey, let me just go and fix this problem. Um, I showed you the, the aggravation I was going through and I showed you how hard it was and the issues that I was having. And then once I went and unwrapped my coil and rewrapped it the other way, going under instead of over, it laid in there immediately. So you wanna be careful on that, that you actually got the coil. If it's giving you a little bit of a problem, you definitely would just want to unwrap it and wrap it the other way or get a coil that is wrapped that way or if you make your own just wrap it the other way um yeah but um this is actually it is kind of tall um it's on the taller size let me see um let me pull out the icon so the icon is like this so it is taller um let me see if you can see it see the icon is smaller um, it is a taller RDA. I'm getting really good flavor though in clouds, which is something I personally like. 
that is with the airflow all the way open. Now it does sound, it's not that it's a loud or whistly airflow. It's like a muffled airflow, like, um, like a muffled exhaust almost. It's not bothering me. It doesn't bother me um, at all, but just in case, I don't know if you can hear it. So here. See, it's kind of muffly. But, um, oh, my cotton's dry and I'm still vaping it and no dry hit. Wow, that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and, what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you, you can drip down the middle, but being that that's, that bottom airflow is right under the coil, I don't recommend it personally. I mean, that's up to you if you want to do that. I, I don't mind taking off the top cap. I usually do that anyway, anything that I'm vaping, um, pretty much. And then I just go ahead and just fill up the sides. So fill that up. My daughter always has to go to the bathroom when I'm filming. It's crazy. Like she can't wait five minutes. So I just go and I fill up those juice wells. And there you go, it's filled up. I just, that's all I do is I put it next to the cotton on the juice wells and just filled it up. So there we go. So I'll put the top cap back on. It doesn't matter which way it goes. It's on, it's on. And there, that's a, a plus for me is not having to worry about, oh, let me position the top cap and you know, oh, I didn't do it or it's closed off or anything like that. So I don't know, that's a plus for me. Now, the one con is going to be in order for you to reduce the airflow, like say for instance, that's too much airflow for you, you will have to open it up and you can actually see next to the cotton right here where you can actually go ahead and move those and it'll actually change your airflow. So if I move this inwards, I'm just turning it and I move that one inward. It's gonna close down the airflow some, so let's go ahead and try it there. Got it like halfway. Oh my God, the flavor in clouds is crazy on this. Again, it does sound muffly, but that's because it's got a hole through the bottom. It doesn't have like the regular airflow in the deck. You've actually got the air going down in it and then through that um, channel um, or I don't know what you would call that, the hole. <laughs> so yeah. Still great clouds, great airflow. Um, it does, another pro is gonna be, it comes with an 810, you can use any of your 810s. It also comes with the 510 drip tip adapter along with the 510 drip tip if you don't have one. If you do, then you just put yours in the 510 adapter. Um, it is a 24 millimeter Addy, that to me is a pro. I don't like anything smaller than a 24 generally. So that works for me. Um, the price, the price on this is $32.99 and you can only get it at vapepufftech.com. Um, I'll be leaving that link down below. But I really like it. I, I, I love the vape on it. I, it's, for some it's gonna be stupid, but for me, I like it. I'm actually gonna open the airflow again because I really like my airflow really wide open. And it's easy. I mean, I just go and unscrew it and yeah, that's that's it. I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and have another wait. It vapes absolutely beautifully. Now, um, like I said, you can only find it on vape 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 puff f v v a p u f f tech dot com. Um I think it's easy to build if, as long as you have the coil the right way. Um, I wasn't aware that the coil had to be the other way, but okay. Um, I had done it one way and I had an extra coil and I guess it was the right way when I first did it. But this time I was like, why is it giving me such a pain? It wasn't a pain the first time. Well, and then I figured it out. So it's a good thing because I like to bring all those issues and problems to you so that if you're having that issue and you message me, I know exactly what it is. So I'm glad that that happened. Um, so that's good. Um, really, I don't see any cons to this. The only con I would say is that it needs to say like how your coil would be wrapped. I, that that for me would have been a plus. It's gotta be an under wrap, not an over wrap because of the placement of the coil. Um, like I said down below, I do have one for giveaway. So if you are interested in getting this and checking it out for yourself, I am gonna be doing a giveaway 
since they sent me the another one um to enter the giveaway you do have to be 21 years of age or older you do have to be in the u.s and there is going to be a seven dollar fda shipping fee um we do have to charge something so that's what all i'm charging is the shipping fee and that's it um what i'm going to do is to um just leave a comment below you don't have to put anything in particular um, I'd like to know if you like something like this, just for me. Um, if you like this, if you like the, the, the way that the deck is, if this is different to you, if this is something that you would like, but you don't have to do that. You can just leave a comment. I don't care if it's one word or whatever. Um, once I get to 700 views, I'm actually going to go ahead and do the giveaway. So at 700 views, I'll go ahead and pick the winner. And I'll do a video just like I usually do using random.org and we'll go ahead and pick a winner. So 700 views will activate that. And yeah, I guess until the next one, see you then. And um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if not, I guess you're going to put a thumbs down. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, that's it for today.